What's going on, YouTube? Back inside the indoor grill room. As you can see, everything's looking pretty good. Some of them pretty decent. Um, but overall, looking awesome. Look at all that growth back there. Looking great. Uh, ooh, first and foremost, little puppy dog. It's her birthday. Oh, Pitbull. Alright. Um... I'm not even going to speculate on how old she is, because I'm a bad dog owner, and I can't remember. It's either six or seven, but hey, I remembered when her birthday was. That's good enough. Alrighty, let's get into here. Got some red fatalities over there. These are all the smaller guys. Oh, yeah, that's right. If you look around in here, um, look down low, everything's a lot more spread out. Um, I pretty much gave each cup probably twice the amount of room that it had before by getting rid of my seed start tray that was right here and put uh, some of the smaller ones up there. So I put some of the bigger ones that were right over there and they moved over here into this little rack. And we got a little sugar rush here. Uh, I think this is a ghost. Yep, nice little ghost there from Chad. Looking beautiful. Uh, another caramel maruga here. These things always like take up the entire cup. They're real short and uh, they grow gigantic really quick. Um, who else do we have? Chocolate Maruga. Uh, Ahi Pineapple. I can't wait to try one of these things. I love fruity. Uh, I like fruity things. But look at that thing looking so pretty. Uh, another ghost right over here. Um, my Sugar Rush. Look at this. Forked. And uh, is already starting to put off some buds there in each of the fork. I, uh, each of the forks, and I pulled the one that was popping in the center. A little brandy wine tomato, looking pretty nice. Saint Thomas Bane, look at this thing. I'm actually growing one of these things, JT. How miraculous is this? Look at that, looking so pretty. But, uh, yeah, if you're new to the channel, which I've got a bunch of new uh, subscribers, uh, this is the pepper I was trying to grow all last year, and this literally was my last seed. So, bang. Got one going. Hopefully I can keep it going. Uh, my shashito. Look at this thing. Forking. Looking awesome. I accidentally ripped off one of the leaves there when I was trying to pull one of the buds. So, it's missing a leaf there. But uh, all in all, looking awesome. Nice little shoot there on the bottom there, popping up, looking nice. Dragon Cayenne, look at that thing, forked. Looking awesome and budding, and this is such a crowning achievement right here. Doesn't look like much, but uh, this was my little stunted, drooped over Brandywine tomato that uh, was not doing anything. And you can see I trimmed some of the leaves there and stuff like that to help promote growth. And it's actually growing. So, it's actually getting a lot taller now. And, uh, yeah. So, woo! I didn't kill a plant. Alright, way to go. Um, my pepper of the week. Haha, I'd be this guy right here. Because, let's see if we can get a good view of this stock. Yeah, look at that. It's so beautiful. It's like a purple, blackish, and like fades into green. Very, very cool. This is the Carolina Reaper. Looking very nice. Uh, some of these plants uh, I've been really having a problem with. And some of them, like that one, I do not have a problem at all. Here's one that does not have a problem at all. Look at this. I topped this guy, as you can see right there, my cow horn. And it is really starting to put off a bunch of leaves. My white peach uh, was a little droopy there. Gave it a little drink of water. It's getting ready to start forking. Um, another indigo rose there, Butch TX Dougla, looking nice. Hmm. There we go. Actually, see that stock on there. Um, yeah, none of these so far, but a couple of these I've started to trim some of the uh, leaves off a little bit. Um, this is my mammoth jalapeno that I topped, and I just gave it water. That's why it's droopy. Uh, cow horn back there. Looking pretty good after being topped. Uh, Serrano, look at that. All this is brand new growth. It's been topped as well. Uh, ooh, check it out. Green Bell. 
and awesome top that guy as well as well as that cow horn right here which is looking pretty good actually that probably needs a little bit of water but uh yeah looking pretty good um so i know this thing is awesome very bushy it's got like a whole new side shoot there coming off helping it being all bushy um my yellow brain strain huh this is one of my problem childs, as you can see, if it's in the view here. I've got all kind of like burning of the leaves here. That's pretty much all from uh, the edema that it's pretty much been suffering from. So I cleaned off a couple, uh, um, uh, what the heck am I trying to say here? Leaves, I guess. Uh, I was trying to like think of like the actual name for like this stock here on the leaf. But uh, yeah, I trimmed off a few of them to try to get uh, promote some more light into the center there onto the stock Let's see if that helps any uh yellow maruga another one i usually have been having problems with you can see got a little bit of burn over here but uh, overall looking really nice um pink tiger looking great just uh starting to fork so it's looking awesome you can see it took off a few leaves there trying to promote a little uh, growth there on the uh, inside of the trunk. Um, Peach Ghost just topped this one, I think, I don't know, a day or two ago. We've already got all kind of new growth popping out all over it. Looking awesome. Oh, my chocolate habanero. You're looking beautiful, my friend. I um, haven't seen this guy in a little while. Um, feeling a little light. Probably needs a little water. But look how perky it is. Looking beautiful. Wow, look at that. That is so pretty. But, uh, yeah, I believe these. Ah. <laughs> Trying to go too fast there. I believe this is the chocolate habanero that Dave sent me. Who everybody should be subscribed to. Throw a link down below. This is the Brazilian brain strain. Look at that thing, man. All kind of awesome growth right there. Not yet forking, but getting close. But, uh, did the same thing trimmed off a few of the bottom leaves that were actually looking really really bad and uh yeah didn't want them in the video here's an awesome pepper here this is my sweet apple i accidentally topped it um because with some of them i i was thinking like uh when i have two i'll go ahead and top one and then you know kind of play them off against each other and see which one uh comes out better but this sweet apple I've only got one of, and I accidentally topped it. And I was just in the mode. I was like, ah, oh, peach ghost, red ghost, and then the sweet apple. But anyway, uh, it's starting to look really good. It's starting to come back. Look at all this new growth at the bottom. Very, very nice. Uh, what did I, oh, six leaves here at the very top is all that uh, are the original. So, and this guy... Yeah, it was suffering from some edema, so kind of can't wait to get rid of all of the uh, old growth. Um, one thing I've been noticing is if you do do that and you top it, the edema seems to stay at bay. Like, as you can see, this yellow maruga here is uh, pretty edema dope. But look at that stock on that thing, man. It's pretty freaking big and beautiful color there. Awesome. That's my... What, my word of the, the century or something? Awesome, awesome. Um, little red ghost. Look at that. So pretty. I love when you look at them from above. And they look gigantic and you can't even see the cup anymore. But the cup's there. Ooh, optical illusion. Um, yeah, anyway, red ghost. And uh, it's looking absolutely beautiful. Indigo rose. Oh, one of my favorite tomatoes. If you haven't tried them, give them a go. Don't even know how to describe them. Um, I don't know. What are they? I think JT said they were like um, a cross between a tomato and a peach or something like that. And I, I think that's about correct. Um, my beautiful little Ahi Fantasy here. Look at this. All brand new growth after I topped it. I mean, it's a tall sucker, but, uh, yeah, all kind of new growth. So, all right, score. Uh, Red Ghost, another one of these ones where you can't see the cut from above. Awesome. Looking great. Um, P. 
peach goes top this guy and it's starting to come back a little bit here hey look at that we're about focusing but uh, yeah starting to come back pretty good We've got my white peach this one does not have very many leaves on here but uh, this is one of my extreme cases of uh, trimming back and uh, yeah so we'll see how that goes hopefully good another pink tiger I pretty much trimmed off all the leaves on this one side to allow light to start getting in there and it looks like it's starting to uh, there we go because we got a little new growth there popping out so not too bad um, I don't know it's been since the last time I did a video that that one's been topped got a Roma back there next to a Roma my Cajun Bell look at this guy gigantic I topped it way down here and it put out a little a uh, little bit of growth down here and just boom just popped up all kind of new growth up here and actually all kind of little buds up here I'm probably gonna have to go and pull off a uh, red ghost I topped and as you can see got a little leaf damage there uh, on both sides but uh, that was just recently done my other ahi fantasy is starting to really take off see I topped it right there and uh, right up here and uh, it's starting to take off with a bunch of shoots it's about as tall as the lights almost um, yeah, Roma lemon drop this lemon drop um, I have to pull it out because it's so tall look well the lights go up but uh, yeah it's right at the light level and that's why I topped it um, it was just starting to fork and I thought what the heck what a better time or what better time to do it than now so but look how tall this thing is it's gigantic need to measure that thing all right let's see way back here my lemon drop whoa hey quit fighting knocking each other over um, this one right in here there we go somewhere in there um, yeah right there I actually topped it and it took over a whole new uh, top there it's coming back pretty good so probably gonna trim some of these original leaves off of there after um, I actually you know after uh, some of these little but or uh, leaves start popping up Ugh, that was bugging me <laughs> can't leave them on its side my white peach has already forked as you can see right here at the top and it's forked again so all right Oh, who else do we have here? M.A. Wartix. Looking beautiful. And a Brandywine Tomato. Whoa, and a little leaf damage there because it just hit the fan. <laughs> and that wasn't it. <laughs> it's actually right here. But anyway, that is everybody downstairs. Upstairs, we've got a few things going on. We've got uh, M.A. Wartix here, looking pretty good. Uh, behind it, a habanero. Nothing really to report. Um, behind this guy, we've got a chocolate habanero. Looks pretty cool. M.A. Wartix up front. Jay's Peach Go Scorpion, which is actually starting to bud. Another one right over here that forked. And it's real big fork, which spread all the leaves out and everything. And now we're getting light penetration down into it. So I don't know if I'm actually going to top that one or not. Because I really like the way it forked. But I don't know. Uh, check this guy out. My caramel maruga. Like I was saying, these guys grow like within the cup. This guy was just like, a, what, two weeks ago. It was like inside the cup just starting to come out. And now look at it. It's gigantic. But, uh, yeah, and then we got a few more over here. Uh, brandy new one here, a new yellow maruga. It popped up in the seeds. Um, nice little white peach over there. Yellow brain strain, chocolate habanero. Yeah, they're just all small. Uh, ghost over here, yellow brain strain. But anyway, yeah. So, that was... Kara, quit digging in the carpet. You're not going to find anything. Well, maybe you will. Huh. All right, uh, well, that was a quick walk around, and now that I've deassembled my uh, grow room here, i got to go put it back together, and uh, I don't know, I'm going to go find something special for this cute little uh, birthday girl here. Oh, look at the pretty pit bull. Oh. 
Alrighty, well thanks for watching here and sticking around and checking out all of my awesome, beautiful little pepper friends. And uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can be notified of more uh, videos that are coming out because I'm doing all kind of videos all the time. And uh, you don't want to miss it. Sounds like a TV ad or something. Hmm. Reptos TV ad. Anyway, uh, yeah, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, all that fun, happy media stuff down below. And join me uh, next week. We'll be back here looking at all these super hots and what has gone on with them. So, all right. Well, I will catch you next time. Till then. Later.